Okay. Now this one's really important. All right. So I'm trying to make it so that it's, it's really easy for you to understand. There's a lot going on in these problems, a lot more than, than you think, okay? The easy stuff, the stuff I want you to think about first is called the mean, or actually let's go the mode, the median, and the mean. Okay? We're going to talk about these three things, okay? These are very important. Right? Right, Chad? Morgan? Okay? Alright, what is the mode? Who knows what the mode means? The most. The most. The most. Okay, what comes up the most? Okay, now, if everything comes up the same, like you have one of each, there is no mode. If you have two of each, there is no mode. If you have 18 of each piece of data, there is no mode. Okay? But... In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, right? And we have, where's my green? I'll use orange. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Then we have two up here. And then one and one. So there's two of these, and then there's one, 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 and one. Does everyone see that? Okay. So, if the red comes up, there's five of these, right? And the orange, there is six of these, right? And the blue, there is two of these. Which one comes up the most? Red, orange, or blue? Orange. Okay. How much is the orange? Six. Six, but what's the value on the side? Nine. Nine. Okay. So, this value is a nine. Okay. Now, it says on the graph that the cost is in cents, I think. So, nine cents per kilowatt, right? Okay. But this is the value that comes up the most. Nine, okay? That means that the mode is Nine. Not eight and nine because they don't come up the same. Do you see how that works? There's five of these. There's six of these. Because it comes up the most, right? The most. Then that means six. We got, is that clear? Pretty easy, okay? Now watch. Median. The median is the middle. Okay? The median is the middle. Right, Chad? So the middle, think about this, Malia. We got one here, one here. One here, one here. Now I could keep doing that, or I could kind of go a little bit faster. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I might want to start slowing down because right now I am at the 
middle, right? So in, looks like 1996, okay? You're gonna have your middle value. And so you look at this middle value And right there becomes your median. It just so happens that your median is also 9. Okay? It's only 9 because it comes up in the middle, the very middle number. Okay? So you stack your data up and you just choose the middle number. That's it. Okay, so that's the, me the median. The mean, okay? The mean. This is what most people call the average. Okay? They are all averages. So, when you learn later on in statistics, you can lie with statistics because you can use this and say, hey, the average is nine because I use the median. Or the average is nine because I use the mode, right? Okay, or I could find what's called the mean. The mean is used the most in statistics, okay? And so the mean is the sum of the numbers, okay? divided by the total amount of numbers, okay? So you take the sum divided by the total, okay? The sum divided by the total. Like how many numbers are there, right? Okay, so when we look at this, it's going to look pretty intense. We're going to go, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's seventeen numbers, right? There's seventeen data points, in other words, okay? So the total amount of numbers is 17. But the sum, the sum is going to be a lot more than that. Because we're going to have one five, right? So we're going to have a five plus a six. A seven plus four or what? Five nines or eights? Is that an eight or nine? Oh, five nine eights. Sorry, sorry. Five eights. So I can have five times eight, right? Plus. So I have five eights and I have six nines, right? So six times nine, right? And then I have an 11, right? So plus an 11, okay? Two 12s, so plus two times 12, right? And then plus a 13, plus 13, okay? So again, that's five plus seven plus five times eight plus six times nine, plus 11, plus two times 12, plus 13, okay? And that's all divided by 17, okay? So, I have, Five plus seven plus 
5 times 8 is 40, plus 6 times 9, 54, 6 times 9, right? Plus 11, plus 2 times 12, which is 24, plus 13, equals 154. So, that's 154 divided by 17. And I get 9.058822529. And what does it, it ask us to do? It asks us to round off to what? Does it ask? So I'm going to ask you to round off to the nearest tenth, okay? So therefore, the mean is going to equal 140, 154 divided by 17, which equals 9.1, right? Because this 5 is going to change the 0 to a 1, okay? Now, after you're done with that, what does it say? Create a story. Create a story. So find the mode, the median, and the mean, and then create a story. Any story you want. Now this is where it gets complicated, okay? So we have to think about this. And the way I like to think about it is, hey, I'm going to go from here to Muck Mart. Okay? Alright? So I'm going to walk from here to Muck Mart, right? Now, let's say that Muck Mart is right there. And the school is right there. Okay? Now, as I'm going, I can think of this in a lot of different ways. Okay? But because this is steeper than that, you see what I'm saying? This slope from here to here, I go up two and only over one, right? I went up two and over one. So I'm going a little faster right there, right? So let's just say I'm jogging. Does that make sense? So right here, I'm jogging, okay? And then right here, I'm walking, right? Because I'm going a little slower. Not a lot slower, but I'm still, I'm, I'm going a little slower. Does that make sense? All right, so here I'm walking. Now, this one's the funky one, okay? Now, right here I'm either, now time is going by, but I'm not getting any closer. But think about this. If I was walking straight this way, out to the freeway, right? <laughs> Would I be getting any closer to Muck Mark? No, because I'm going parallel to Muck Mart, right? Muck Mart's that way. I'm going that way. Does that make sense? Muck Mart is that way. I'm going that way. Okay? If I'm going this way, that means I'm walking parallel to it. If I'm walking parallel to it, right, then I have no slope, or actually I have zero slope, right? You listening, Chad? I have zero slope. So you're either stopped and you talk to somebody or you're walking parallel. Does that make sense? 
Now, am I going towards it again? Yeah. Yeah, and that's again, I'm walking, right? But then what happens here? I stopped again, right? Or I'm walking parallel. Does that make sense? But what happens here? Good down. I'm going down, which means I'm going away from it, right? So now when you're walking, think about when you're walking along, right? Can sometimes a road come back and then go that way? You see what I'm saying? So sometimes you might come back a little bit in order to go around. Maybe you had to go around the house, right? Something happened though. You started walking back towards the school. Okay? And then what? We walked, right? And then we stopped, and then we ran, and then we walked. Right? And then we stopped, right? And then we walked. And we got there. We good? Mm -hmm. All right, go to class.